Hello everyone, today I wanted to show you a really cool item transportation system I found out the other day, which people have probably found this out, but I thought it was really cool and I thought I'd make a video on it. So basically the way it works is it uses the item called an item vault, and the way item vault works is it's meant to store items in them, and you can't access them, like they're not a chest, you can't open them. They only take items in with funnels. So, if I just throw something in here, it goes from point A to point B, but it goes from point A to point B instantly, which leaves a lot of room of stuff that can be done using that. So, over here, I built a, um, a track. So, it's comparing a item volt transportation conveyor compared to a regular conveyor. And, yeah. And it's, since the conveyors take no stress, you can use any form of power. So I'm using a water wheel. It's amped up using a rotation speed controller to 256. So this is running at peak. And if I click the button, uh, ignore that. Oopsie. Okay. If I click the button, See that difference? The the item volt transportation line got there instantly, but the um, the conveyor line just took way longer, like instant, and then probably like five-ish seconds to get there. And that's just it's crazy the potential for that. And some people might see it as being silly or like a, a lot of items when you can just use a conveyor, but there's a lot of stuff that can be used with that. Okay. So next, I want to show you just a rough test. So this is a 45 block long conveyor. And I can throw an item in there. Two-ish seconds to travel 45 blocks. Like maybe one and a half seconds. Which is super nice for 45, like a 45 block like range. Okay. So another thing I discovered is you can also use them to go upwards and I guess down. I haven't really worked on down but yeah so this is 13 blocks tall and the way it works it just collects up throws it up there and then this one uses no conveyors no rotational power which in my opinion is even better and yeah no, i think it goes faster because they don't have the slowness of the conveyor belt just instant so i throw it up there that took less than a second maybe uh probably a second it's like a second to travel 13 blocks which is super nice. And like, I haven't tried out building a massive one, but I totally could, and maybe I will after. Yeah, okay. So next, I wanted to show you how to build a conveyor belt version, or the conveyor belt item bolt transportation. So I'm gonna, my power is gonna be, um, oh, actually, so this is all you would need assuming you're using the same power as me to make two comparable like item transportations it just it requires three volts a few shafts a few gearboxes and then depending so each three volts requires two funnels so if i have six volts it's going to require four funnels and then a few conveyors that's it so first i'm going to build my power so just a water rail and then cog a cog and then rotation speed controller. That's all you need, which is super simple. And I'm just gonna amp up the rotation speed controller to 256, just to show off how fast it can go. And then two shafts here, two shafts here. Three item bolts. Make sure they're connected like that and not like that or anything. Three seamless item bolts next to each other. And then another three item bolts. Funnels, funnel here, funnel here, um, funnel there, and funnel here, and then now you see to rotate the other um, conveyors. So you have to do this and this to get the right rotation, and that's it. That's all you need. And as you can see, just bam, super nice. So I guess next I'll show you how to build a uh, upwards one, which is even simpler. Which, it just requires you to go four there to make sure they all connect, and then four here, or four here, 
and then uh shoot. and then uh funnel 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 and they still only require two funnels entrance and exit funnel but for this one you have to make sure you select them as entrance and exit so see how the arrow is pointing this way that makes this one exit and that makes this one exit you won't you will need one exit and one entrance so change that to an entrance and then exit and then this also needs to be an entrance to catch the item and then exit so he's like yeah easy as that he just goes through hits that one gets caught by that one then goes up and then continues so yeah that's really it but actually no i can show you this so um i was experimenting with how long i can make the track of a conveyor belt like item bolt transportation thing so i made this track 362 blocks sneaking around just from there to there to there to there it's all 362 blocks until it hits this evo and it's running at 256 i think yeah okay it's running at 256 this is like peak and if i throw a block of lime ore in there you can barely even see it you might be able to catch it here uh i'll put a timer on screen to show how fast it's going but it should be going roughly it takes eight seconds i mean to show how long it takes it takes roughly eight seconds to get from three to get all 362 blocks which is kind of insane like how simple it is for the travel an item that fast and something nice about the system is um you can throw stack if you're using brass funnels over andesite funnels and you can use andesite funnels if you're not moving that many items but i'm fairly certain andesite funnels will get backed up if you throw a ton of items on it so let's just get to the lead and then like uh Mm, okay, let's say that's clogged. Or I don't think I need to clog that. See, okay. The thing about anti funnels is they do one item at a time instead of throwing the entire stack. Which I think I'm pretty sure it's an entire stack, wait. Brass funnels spit out anti funnels extract only one item. And the brass funnels yeah. See, that's the thing. Brass funnels can do entire stacks, which is a lot more. It makes moving items much easier. Because if I if I'd done the system with anisite funnels, it would have been taken spit out sixty four separate items, but then it just sets out like one stack of six four, which is super nice. So I mean, if you're early game and you're not moving that many items in this if you, in a long conveyor, like anisite is probably worth it. But if you have enough grass, I would say getting the funnels. So yeah, okay. I think I'm gonna build this, and uh, or I'm gonna see how tall I can make one of these and how fast it will go. So I'll get back to you in a second. And I'm back. Okay. So while it's gone, I built this tower, and I also built this, but I'll get into that in a second. So the tower I made was roughly 90 blocks, and it just it's just the same that pattern but repeating. And it's crazy how fast it is. Let's throw it in there. Two seconds in two seconds it travels 90 blocks like what that's crazy and then so if you're curious what this is i'm gonna show it off right here <laughs> so earlier or the other day or after i found out this idea i started building all those conveyors and i was like wait you can do bigger conveyors so i wanted to test that out so the conveyor belts are running or bigger volts i mean sorry so there's these short tiny bolts they can only go three blocks but they um are smaller and cheaper and easier to build but you can get these bigger bolts that are um four by four and um shoot sorry yeah okay you can get these bigger bolts that are four by four and longer but they can only be four by four so you have to spend four times the amount of materials, but you can get a longer bolt, which is nice. I don't know if it's really worth it though. So if I do this, I can drop them in. And you can see, it's like maybe half a second difference. And sure that's nice, but it's not that nice. Okay, yeah. But then I came up with the idea whenever building the tower that you can get this long iron bolt and combine it with the staircasing method that uses no conveyors to basically get best of both worlds, I guess. 
And yeah. So if I drop it, an item there, that was instant. And it goes to, it has a length of these and this the uh, the instant of this net. Like the fast movement of this and the length of this, which is a super nice combo. And you could technically do something like you you could use this in a build where you do like um this it just jumps in between there like that zigzags which could work but it would take up so much room i don't know how much worth it would have for the extra like it would definitely make it faster because you would have also the instant of this but you, you could even do something like um this if you wanted to be fast if you wanted it to be fast like um shoot uh You can do something like this, just a zigzag pattern, which I think should work. Wait, uh, this needs to be going down. Oh wait, no, that one doesn't work. And also, I need one here. Okay. Uh, yeah. See, okay, so that's instant too. So you could technically do a zigzag pattern if you wanted to have the um the speed of this, because this uses no conveyors and stuff, which is nice. And okay. Uh, I think that's it for this video. I think I think this is a really cool system, and I'd like to use it in a build one day with like uh, procreate because it's cool. I don't know how practical it is, but it's cool to have instant item transportation just at a whim. Especially with this one, I like this one a lot because no conveyor just grabs it and just goes and goes and goes. And this and all that, yeah. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.